Did you have a nightmare? I saw a strange man. Can you sleep with me? What did we say about sleeping with mom and dad, hmm? Only in thunderstorms. That's right, because you're a big boy now, okay? Yeah. Hi, Mommy. Will you check under the bed for monsters? Mmm. Somebody in my bed. owner by chance, are you? Oh, no, no, no. My name's Johannes. Or Johan. Friends call me Joe. I fix things around here. The whole neighborhood. Hello, Johan. Hi, Joe. Is the, uh, is the real estate agent still inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right inside. Take a look around. This is a very special place. But don't forget, you buy the house, you buy me too. Because I'll be around. I'm always here. <laughs> OK. See you around. Must be Carrie, right? I hope it's okay. Johan outside told us to come on in. Oh, Johan, he's a fixture around here. You guys must be the Burrows, and you're late. I was just about to lock up. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. The plane was delayed. There's still some time. I can show you around the house if you'd like. Yes, we would love that. What do you think? Do you want to see the rest of the house, Johnny? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Let's all do right. it. Come on up. Really, really sorry we're late. That's okay. It happens all the time. Oh, no, I feel terrible. It was, it was hectic. And if you'll follow me this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is our main parlor room. This uh, room, actually, this house was built in the late 1700s. Wow. Yeah, this, uh, it contains nice. all of its original uh, wood flooring. Ooh. You can see there's vaulted ceilings. Oh, and uh, yes, and if uh, Fireplace you in here. Yes. and this, this organ, is yes, it, is it's, it a functioning organ? It's actually it comes with the house. It's a two hundred year old organ. It's actually been featured oh, in the shows on Phantom of the Opera. Yes. You might actually remember yeah. that. Uh, we could learn to play the piano together. Phantom's uh -huh. lair. Yeah. So you guys, any of you guys play? Do you play at all? Have you guys talking about taking lessons? For a long time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This would be perfect for my work. Actually, this room was used as a home office before. What did you say you do, Mr. Burroughs? Oh, I'm a, I'm a writer. But my beautiful wife here is a neurophysicist. She's practically a brain surgeon. No, no, he always gives me too much credit. I don't have an MD, just a, just a PhD. No brain surgeries for me. Oh, wow. Wow, honey? Yeah? Wow. Jen, this is a sign. This, it's clearly a right? sign. All right? Wow, this is so it's cool. It's a sign. Johnny, buddy, look at this. This is an old, old, old typewriter, huh? Check it out, look. So Stanley just got a new writing assignment, and that's sort of the reason we left the New York City rat race and opted for something a little bit more traditional. Oh, wow, well, this place is perfect for your family. Your son is gonna love it. Oh, I think we are all gonna love it. What's in here? Uh, that cabinet uh, was left here by the original tenants. It's a very old antique with quite a history. It's creepy. <laughs> and creepy dolls, huh? Cool. Oh, wicked. Oh, boy. Also left by the last tenant. Well, you know what? You can go ahead and leave it here. I could always use a little inspiration for my work. Stanley writes horror. Oh. <clears throat> Hi there, buddy. Well, guys, I, uh, I guess this is where I just say it. The law requires that I inform you if uh, the house is psychologically impacted. I'm sorry, do you mean haunted? Well, the legal term is emotionally defect. Uh-huh. So what happened here? A very long time ago, a young girl died here. The official story is that her father went insane and just left her to starve to death inside of a toy box. Uh, her name was Allison Sullivan. Inside a toy box? Her father was a single parent, uh, an alcoholic. I guess he just got abusive and neglectful and just left her to starve to death. The authorities found her inside of the toy box having eaten her dolls to stay alive. Oh I don't mean to frighten you. Well, it's uh, getting late and I really do have to lock up here. I am sorry about the spooky story, but the law requires that I inform you. Oh, I, I, I love it. <laughs> we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Uh, it's, it is hard to sell a place like this with that kind of a story. Second thoughts are common with such a history. No second thoughts here, and I know there's none for Jen. Most importantly, after that story, I imagine we're getting a pretty good deal. Right, right, absolutely. Mrs. Burris, where yes. would you like this? Uh, that should go up in the master bedroom. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I'm calling about it. Hi, baby. Mommy, can I go play outside? Yes, you may just stand your nearby, please, okay? I'm calling about a new account. I'd like to set up a new account. New resident. Mm-hmm. Johnny boy! Hey, buddy, I'm gonna go for a little jog real quick. When I get back, you and I okay. are going exploring. Sound good? All right. I'll be right Bye. back. Bye. Yes, yes, I have had a chance to look at it, and no, I actually don't think he'd be a good candidate. I would recommend elimination of the nerve supply to the pineal gland. I think that would be curative in this specific schizophrenic incident. So you really think he needs his medication? No, 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 Stanley's not losing his mind. <laughs> I know he thinks he's seeing things, but I can assure you he isn't. Stanley is not schizophrenic. Stanley is just stressed out. Thanks for asking. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Mrs. Burroughs, you know you have a lot of stress, so I uh, stew with some fresh mint. That is so nice. Thank you. You're back. Thank you. Hi there. I'm back. Yes. No, no, we're actually already in the house. See that? Got our own little pond. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Let's go sit down. Dad? Yeah. What is that house? That house is what they call a spring house. So the water would come run down off the hill, 
Fill it. Yep, just right down that little hill. You can see where like the stream would come down. Uh -huh. It would run down into this bottom part of this house. It would also fill up this pond. And when the water was in there, it would keep all of their food, vegetables and meat and stuff, refrigerated. So it was pretty much the first refrigerator. So, how was everyone's first day? Great. Yeah, we had a great day, didn't we, buddy? <laughs> Hell of a thing being out here. God, we are in it. Fresh air, the trees, the animals. Killing bad guys and taking over the world, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, I hate to be out here, but I feel different. Yeah. Must be all the freedom in the open space. That's good.
You feeling a little better, honey? Good. How's your tummy? Yeah, does it feel better when I rub it? Okay, good. Let's try to remember a really fun time before we go to sleep. How about that vacation in Hawaii? Hmm. Did you like that one? And the water was all sparkly and light blue and you stood up on a surfboard? I fell about four you? times or three. Oh, I don't remember four times. I remember maybe two tops. And then what did we do when we got on the beach? Um, Dad threw the frisbee at your eye. <laughs> he did. He did. He hit me smack dab in the eye, and you were <laughs> laughing your little face off, and I was not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, certain species of crows top the avian IQ scales. Avian means birds, we learned that last week, right? Uh-huh. So they can count, they have really good memories, and some of them even partake in activities that closely resemble sports. Wow. I know, wow is right. Uh, yes, I'll be paying with credit card. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 aquí, en la sala, por favor. Gracias. Uh, just one second. Oh, baby, I need the card. I need the card. Hand it over. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes. It is 8900. Oh, careful, careful, careful. These are my prized possessions. You a bourbon drinker? Expiration. The only thing worth a damn. Language. Yeah, this is the good shit. Yes. Baby, Stanley Victor. Sorry, mother. Okay, thank you so much. 4 p.m. is great. Okay, I'm not sure how, but I think I just got the gas turned on today. Honey, you are amazing. Mm-hmm. Warm and wonder. Mm-hmm. You know, it would go out a whole lot faster if you would help out around here. Hey, I gotta get to work. ASAP. I gotta pay those bills, you know? Okay, well, we moved out here to spend time together as a family. Try not to forget that. Ah, yes, ma'am. Ah. And right. Uh-huh. 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 Not in front of the workers. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mr. Burroughs. Hi. <laughs> you like bourbon? I do. The workers and I would like to present you with this special local bourbon, sort of as a housewarming gift. Oh, that's lovely, Johan. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Johan. These local herbs enhance the flavor of the bourbon. I think you're really going to like it. I'm going to need a check to the work, pay the workers. All right. Follow me. Yeah. This is the uh, the green paint. Yeah, make sure that only goes in the living room. We switched it from the line. Done. Jennifer. Benjamin. Oh my God! Look at you. Well, hello. What a long journey. Did you get younger and more beautiful? Uh, what happened? What happened? Oh. You always think that, or you'll get you everywhere. Boy, do you feel good in my arms. So you brought champagne. The truth is, I came to see you, not the husband. But I'll go see him as long as he's here. He's upstairs in the study. Always working. And you're coming back? Yeah, I'm just going to the grocery store. I'll be back soon. We're going to wait. All right. See you soon. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, it's Benny, your favorite agent. Yeah, first door on the right. Did you forget about me? Oh, come on, never. Come here. I've missed you. How long is it? Oh, it's been too long. It's beautiful, beautiful. And look at your beautiful place. It's crazy. Thank you so much. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Thank you so much. But you're much. happy here? You're feeling good? Oh, it is fantastic out here, Ben. And I got to say, I think it's going to be great for the wifey. She's getting real sick of that New York life. I think it's going to be good for you, for the writing. I think for the two of you, for the marriage, for everything. And Johnny, it's going to be great for everybody. Absolutely. And uh, 
You know, well, I wish we would come out here when it was done up a little nicer. It's uh, not a lot to look at right now. But it's kind of like a first draft or a second draft. It's like a polish. Uh -huh. It's like a polish. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Always the witty one, huh? Come on. Let's step humorous, outside. The humorous agent from Hollywood. They oh, call me oh. the humorous agent from Brilliant. Hollywood. Oh, my God, I love this view. It's beautiful, isn't it? Crazy. Look at this thing. Wow. Yeah, do you hear that, huh? No okay. horns, no sirens. I'm not used to this. Mother. Silence? Yeah. You hear nothing? How are you doing? How are you settling in? Well, you know, Jen, it's a hurricane, but uh, I got to tell you, pretty excited about starting this new writing assignment. Speaking of which, how'd the meeting go? So I got great news for you. They love you. It went great. I'm telling you, I think we're gonna make a great deal. Yes. Good, good, good. So what are they putting up? What do you mean, what are they putting up? Advance? What are they paying me, Ben? Stanley, you're talking about the old days. Nobody puts up advances anymore. This is a different time period. You actually have to write the screenplay. We have to show it to them. What are you talking about? You got me a six-figure advance on my last screenplay. Six years ago. Then find a studio that'll pay up front. I'm not going to write this thing with the hopes that they're going to buy it. See, how, how do I say this nicely to you? Your last movie was a disaster. They don't want slasher movies anymore. Stanley. Ben, that was the director, not me. It wasn't supposed to be a slasher film. It was supposed to be a psychological thriller. You read the script. You know that. Yeah, yeah. I know it. You know it. But they don't know it. The executives don't know it. That's what we have to show them. I'm telling you, you just have to write a screenplay. I'll hand deliver it myself. Ben, I moved into this new house based on a writing assignment you said I had. Now you're telling me there's no money? No, no, no. I'm not saying there's no money. I'm saying there is money. I'm saying you have to write the screenplay, I deliver it to them, and I get them to buy it. Okay, in the meantime, how am I supposed to pay for this house and all the crap that's going on? Well, <clears throat> Stanley, I, I would lend you the money myself if I could. But honestly, things are a little tough. You, you think you're the only writer I'm having problems with? I've got, I've got a stable of writers like this. They're not giving advances anymore. But I'm telling you, I feel it in my kishkas. Write the screenplay. I'll make a deal. The two of us will have so much money. We'll buy an, I'll buy a house right next to you. Let's make a toast. We need a drink. A toast to you, the family, and the future project. <sighs> OK, Ben. Sit down. <clears throat> They protect me. From what? Allie. Who's Allie? Allie's the doll eater. Is that Allie? This is Karen. She's a friend. Allie's the bad one. She's behind you. Listen, don't fool around with these things, okay? They may be your friends now, but only until bad things start to happen. Okay? So stay away from it. I may not see things as much as you do, but I can sense them, and I can hear them. Here, take this. This will ward off evil spirits. So whenever you're frightened, okay? And then stare at what scares you, and focus with all your heart at what's in front of you. And then you count to 13, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and try. One, two, three. Yes. Four. That's good. Five. Really good. Thank 
you. Jennifer Burroughs. Janice Benny. Ben, I said try calling first. Well, I want to see my son. He's not your son. We've been over this. Stanley is the father. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. I just don't believe it. Because you were a mistake, Ben. And I'm sorry to have to say this, but... Stanley and I have been picking up the pieces ever since. Why do you even say this? Why am I a mistake? He's not your biological son. Stanley is Johnny's father. Let it go, Ben. We've never done a DNA test. We've never done it. That's all I'm saying. We've never done it. Well, that's all really great to hear, but I don't have time to get into this right now, so I'll give you a call back when I do. But hold on. Take care of yourself. No, hold on. Hold are in there. I wouldn't want you to lose anything. I didn't. You've been going through my stuff? Yes. tell you not to touch anything without my permission. Remember? Yes. This is where I work. This is how I make money. If you mess anything up, we won't have any money to pay for food. This house. I just need you to understand that. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so you won't do it again.
That's enough to disturb him. He's working. Oh, well, that's probably because he's excited about his new writing assignment. You want to help me put away some groceries? Put some bagels in the pantry. Come on, up and at him. Mom, when we're finished, can I go play with the other children? What other children, Johnny? What do you mean? Just the uh, children of the house, Mom. They're mostly nice. Are you seeing these children, Johnny? No, ma'am. I'm just hearing them. Uh-huh. Okay. I have an idea. Why don't we go take a walk around this house and see what's behind these voices? What do you say? Okay. Okay. You lead the way. All right. Show me what these voices are about. I think I've got an answer. sounds. It's part of their charm. And here we are at the attic. I don't know where the light switch is. It's a little dark. But I gotta play it. Okay. Uh huh. See this? Okay. So this right here is a furnace. It's also an air conditioning unit. And the air conditioning unit pulls water out of the air in the form of condensation. And sometimes these things have a gurgling sound. Let's see if we could hear it. Uh huh. Do you hear that? Uh huh. Kind of sounds like when mom's gargling with mouthwash. It gets louder sometimes, like at night. And downstairs, that's going to sound like a human being. But it's just the water swirling around up in this. Okay. Okay. See what else we could find. You need to find a light, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what we have over here. It looks like another room. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Johan, hi. <laughs> just kidding, hi. I no, was no, just it's okay. fixing some of these faulty wires. I'm almost done, give me one Can you second. see? Ah, oh. here we go. There we go, that's beautiful. So much better. Thank you. You're welcome. We're just taking a little tour of the house to figure out where all these sounds come from. You bet. Go right ahead. Thank you. Oh, and if you need anything, I'll be around. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Johnny. You see this pipe? This house is over 150 years old. That's pretty old, right? That's older than you. 
Oh, all right, you're a funny guy today, huh? Well, 150 years ago, we didn't have air conditioning or indoor plumbing. So these pipes and the ducts are struggling to deal with the air pressure and it makes sort of a whistle sound. Or maybe sometimes a whispering sound. Mom. Yes? It really sounds like it. It really sounds like voices. I know, but they're not. It's just That's all it is, I promise you. Okay? Okay. And look at here, there's all this wood. This house is made of wood, which is a material that absorbs and shrinks with moisture. And when it expands and shrinks, it makes these creaking and groaning sounds. So in the morning when the sun comes up, all the water goes out of the wood and the house shrinks. And then at nighttime, what do you got there? Look what I found. Oh. Let's check it out. At nighttime, when it cools down, that same wood brings in the moisture and it expands again. Mom. Yeah? The bad girl's here. Who? Allie, the doll eater. Oh, well, that doesn't make any sense because she's not real. Do you remember what I told you about ghosts and spirits and things like that? They're just figments of my imagination. That's right, and you have a pretty amazing imagination, which is part of why I love you, but it's all make-believe. Carrie just told us a scary story, but it's not real, okay? Okay. Promise you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think that's probably the gas man. Want to come with me to let him in? Come on.
Hey, Johnny. What you looking at? Ah, oh, it's this alley stuff, huh? You know that this happened a really, really long time ago? Good. And this alley girl, she had a really, really bad father. Yes, Mom. Yes. Okay. Good. Hello, Johnny. Hello. Johnny, who are you talking to? It's just my friends. Baby, are you seeing things? I don't see them. Then why are you saying hello? I hear them, Mommy. What do you hear? The voices, they're talking to me. <sighs> okay, baby, I know you're probably so lonely out here, right? But you know what, when school starts, you're gonna have so many new friends. And I want you to know something, you are not hearing voices, okay? Okay. Let's All right. It's okay, Mommy, they didn't do anything. I don't like Dad's dolls. Yeah, they're pretty creepy, huh? It's not that. They hurt. They hurt? My friends. They tell me how it keeps them there and present them in those dolls. All they do is want to play, but Allie... Allie, no more talk about this Allie girl, all right? Okay, this uh, stuff that you hear, I know you hear a lot of things, you hear a lot of things that adults talk about, but it is not real, okay? Okay. okay. They're just dolls. Inanimate objects. And here's the other funny thing. Sometimes when something terrible happens, if you talk about it too much, you start to believe it. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. All right, let's just relax a little bit and watch some TV. Okay? Look at that. Yeah. Snug is a bug in a rug. I think we're all set. Hey, good night, honey. Bedtime. Good night, honey. Mom? Yes? Before you leave, can you check under my bed for monsters? Yes, I can check under the bed for monsters. Do you think I'm gonna find one? Here we go. <gasps> Guess what? <gasps> Absolutely nothing, you silly man. There's nothing under there. You need to go to sleep. I'll be right down the hall if you need anything, okay? Okay. Mom and Joe say we shouldn't play together. Why, Johnny? Come on, Johnny. I thought we were friends. One, two, three, four. Johnny boy, what we talk about? Rather you didn't lie to me. Okay, if you did, I'm not gonna be mad. It's the truth. Tell me how this got in your room. Mom put it here? No. And why is it in here? Stanley? Hey. 
What's going on in here? Johnny and I are just having a little father-son talk. Okay, remember he's only eight years old. Jennifer, darling. I'm just trying to make you both understand that when I'm working, it takes a lot of concentration. Concentration that's easily broken. And I don't decide when my mind wants to work. So when it does, it's important that I'm left alone. Get some sleep. Okay. Hey guys, it's 10 in the morning. What's going on? Where's that no more work? No, what do you mean no more work? We still need this house to be painted. You said you're on a very tight budget, so we're packing up. Our budget's fine. I'll talk to him. To be honest, Mrs. Burrows, the workers themselves aren't too upset. Why aren't they upset? Uh, something about the house. It's superstitions. Ah, superstitions. You mean old wives' tales. Oh, something about bad memories, a demon. I wouldn't give it too much credibility. I certainly don't, Johan, and I'd be surprised if a grown man like you actually believes in children's fairy tales. <laughs> I don't. But people are funny. Respectfully, Johan. I'm a neurophysicist, and as you can imagine, these types of stories, and they are stories, they don't sit very well with me. I live here, and I can assure you there are no ghosts in this house. Mrs. Barris, you have a really nice family. So, if you ever need my help, please call. Hey, Joe. What you doing? I'm just picking up like you told us to, sir. Well, looks like you're all packed up, so... Thank you. Bye, Joe. I'll see you soon, Johan. Yeah. Really? So you, uh, you think he fancies you? Hmm? I don't know, Stanley. I'd like to think I'm still attractive. Hey! Man, is he being hey. inappropriate? No! Of course he wasn't. I love you. Stop this. What was all that about, Stanley? You know how I feel about guys getting too close to you. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, right. yeah, well, I've heard that before. I'm sorry. Okay, it's just, it's hard. I know. It's a long time ago. Talked to him recently? Yeah. Stanley, you have nothing to worry about, okay? I told you I'd stay with you an entire lifetime to work this out, and I meant it. I know how long something like this can take to heal. If it takes another 10 years, it's fine because I love you. I love you so much, and only you. Can you just please? I know. Look, I just... The stress is getting to me. Just bringing up old memories, all right? I know. And I know how much writing takes it out of you, too. I get it. We don't have the money. What do you mean we don't have the money? You mean the money's coming no, in late? No, Jen, we're not getting the advance. The studio screwed us over. What? They want me to write it first, and then maybe they'll buy it. No, no, you gotta talk to Ben. You gotta get Ben. And ben doesn't give a shit. You know, if I don't finish the script, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. It's okay. I've got quite a bit of money saved up, actually, so I can just float us in the interim, cut a couple corners, we'll be fine. Stop don't, stressing out. I don't want you paying for everything. I don't mind. We're not going back. We're staying here together as a family. Gonna stick it out too thick and too thin. I appreciate that, Jen. 
The only way is for me to finish the script. shower. I'll fix us some lunch, and when you finish, we'll learn about some Roman numerals. Oh, and Johnny, can you try to use your own bathroom, please? Because your dad doesn't like it when you leave your stuff all over ours. Okay, Mommy. Don't take too long. Okay. Johnny, we've talked about this before. Come here. There are no children in the house except for you. I'm scared. This is not going to get you out of your shower, young man. Can you come with me, please? OK. Just because you're so darn cute. Come on. You got to hurry.
Jennifer, concentration, 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 concentration. You know I don't like to be bothered when I'm working. Those are my things. Where were they? Under your son's bed. Stanley, I know you need to focus on your work, but Johnny needs his father as well. I am tired of you being so goddamn selfish and irresponsible with our child. Jennifer, I'm writing something very, very special. I don't have time to play with an eight-year-old. Okay, he's not just any eight-year-old, he's our son. Stanley, you're talking about our son, and he needs you. I need is for you to let me work so I can finish this goddamn script to pay for this goddamn house that you got us into. <laughs> you know, why don't you go get on the phone with your little scientist friends and play doctor so I can focus and make some real money to keep this family together. Don't you dare, Stanley. I put food on this table, I put this roof over our heads, and I gotta finish this script. And every time you come in here and throw your little tantrums, it distracts me. Focus on your work. You finish that script. I know your family is waiting for you when you're done. And we love you. Work. Put a page down. stress and he's not handling it so well but I know deep down he's doing what he can for the family he's trying his best for us so we just gotta bear with him okay okay did you hear some of that fight oh, baby. it's gonna be okay how about we go downstairs and I make you some hot cocoa okay. yeah okay let's do that Who's here? Who's here? 
years. Can you stop this? Johnny? Johnny, baby, what's wrong? What's wrong, baby? You having a nightmare? Honey? Baby, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Do you have another nightmare? There's nothing there. Don't be Stanley, come here. Johnny's had another nightmare. The boy needs to toughen it up. He's a child, Stanley. What the hell has gone into you? Yeah, well, he always will be one if you keep treating him like this. Go away. It's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Give me those eyes. I'm right here. I'm not leaving you, okay? Hey. Stanley, I am starting to worry about you. You, uh, you need to sleep. I think that's what's going on. Um, working too hard. You'll feel better in the morning. Better? <laughs> Things have never been better. For once, I've written something so powerful and so beautiful that it'll last for eternity. Um, okay, honey, I'm excited about your writing, but you're starting to act not right. Sleep deprivation alone can cause hallucinations, okay? And you've been drinking so much on top of it. I just really need you to rest. Honey, honey, my, my, my script is perfect as well, honey. It's perfect. I can all be together forever. Yeah, she's come. She's come to take us with all the rest. Okay, baby. The best part is uh, never have to worry ever again.
Where is Johnny? He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? Johnny! He's not in here? Where is Johnny? He's here. In the house. Silly! I need you to snap out of this right now. We are talking about our son. He's not my son. Johnny is your son. Yes, I need to report a missing child. No, 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 please. Stanley, I do not like this behavior. I told you. The house is taken, just like I wrote. This is the alcohol talking, or whatever you're taking. This isn't you, Stanley. This is very real. You can see it happening. Did you do something to our son? Did you do something to Johnny? I know what happened to him, but even the children of this house couldn't save him. Allie is dead, Stanley. No, 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 no. Allie, Allie is very, very much alive. Brought back to life with, with these hands. You did not do that. You did not bring Allie back to life. Johnny is very much alive, too. He's part of this house now. Just like the rest of us. Come Look at me. I need you to tell me why you're doing this. See, I, I, I realized that I have the power to keep us together for eternity. Tell me where Johnny is. Quit worrying about that brat! <sighs> Do you realize what I've done to keep this family together? Johnny? Johnny is in a better place now. I, you, my love, are next. No. Silly, tell me where my son is. So the truth comes out, huh? Your son. My son. My son. Your son. <laughs> Your son. <laughs> Johnny is and what happened to him. Do me a favor. Put this on for me, please. Please. Jennifer, since I was last here, the energies in this house have gone stronger. But once there was something amiss, clearly there's a big problem now. None of this makes any sense to me. I know you've been through a lot, but you have to try and understand me now. There are many spirits in here, 
And I strongly believe, though, that the bad spirit I felt is a demon. A demon? I know it sounds silly, but I do know about these things. Spirits are entities that at one point were alive and had a physical body. Some can be good, some can be bad. Demons, on the other hand, never had a physical body. They come here straight from hell. You're saying that a demon took my son. I don't believe that. I think that Stanley is delusional, and I think that Johnny's somewhere in this house, and that we need to find him. I know this may sound very strange to you, but some of us grew up being taught these kind of things. Religion and practices gave us the means to talk to the dead. Trust me, I learned a lot watching my grandmother work. We can try and communicate with them, if you like. Let's try. It. This is the source. You mean where Allie died? And that's her. She's the demonic spirit I sensed. And she has your son. Where is he? Impossible to tell. Too many energies in this house. Okay, so what do we do? We have to communicate with the spirits. But whatever we do, we cannot engage the demon. They're devious and insidious master manipulators. I don't know how we do this. Think of something that only you and your son know. We played a game. We made up a we made up a spelling game only him and I know about. Okay. Would that work? Sure. Let's give it a try. Space. I just have to draw a diagram. And then... It's an R. An R. Okay. You. Are you? Are you? Uh huh. An N. Are you? N. Oh my God! It's telling us. Oh my god. It, it wants us to be afraid. He's telling me to run. It cannot consume us until we give in to absolute fear. Okay. Okay. What does Johnny have to do with any of this? Why do they want my son? Sometimes we're just victims of the actions of others. Sins of our fathers, perhaps. I just want my son back. Please, 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 if you would pull him. This is what you do when I'm away, huh? This piece of shit. No, Stanley, you're just not understanding things, right? No. no. <laughs> I ever wanted was for us to be a family. And yet you've gone and done it again. What are you talking about? I guess. Once a cheater, always a cheater, huh? Stanley, it's not like that. <laughs> it is not like that right now. But you know what? I guess we're here to work things out, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Don't you understand, huh? You, Stanley, you wanted to be with Johnny. Now well, you can be with him. Please let go of me. Stanley, let go of me. She's here in the house, you know that, don't you? You can't take my fear if I have none. She promised me eternal life no. for all of us. Uh, no. Yeah. You will not do this to us. Stanley, bring her to me. Bring her to me. Bring her to me. 
either, if I have none. You can't take my fear. Johnny, run you, from her. Don't be scared. That's how she gets you when you're scared. I need you to be strong. I want you to be afraid, so we can be together. Oh, we gotta get out of here, baby, okay? She's all right here, Mama, waiting for us to be together. No. No. Come She's here. already in here, waiting for us to be no. together. No! God damn it, Johnny, stay behind me. Come on, come. God damn it, no! Are you gonna leave me here with our son? Oh, we were family. We're all staying here forever! Stop. <laughs> Get out of here while we can. Open the passenger door. Okay? Yeah. I did it. what he would have done to us in this demented state. I'm just glad I got there when I did to save you both. And thank God I'm always there to pick up the pieces. People just don't understand how important it is to be there when it matters. Sorry about the chemicals, Jennifer, but you as a physicist can appreciate what they do to the brain and the central nervous system. Out of stress, so you with this special local bourbon. Would you put this on for me, please? Add in your run-of-the-mill muscle relaxer and, um. you know, Stanley should spend more time with Johnny. Be more of a father figure. It doesn't even matter whether or not he's the biological father or not. Together in this house for all eternity. No, 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 we won't. Johnny, Johnny, come on. Baby, we have to run. Johnny, come with me, baby. Baby, come with me. Mommy, I want to stay here. I'm coming back with the police. They're never going to believe you, Jennifer. Mom, I need you to stay here forever. 
with all my friends. <laughs> not your friends. Oh, well, let's go see your dad. They're not real, Johnny. I'm coming back. <laughs> Upstairs in this study. There. Johnny? Johnny? Mommy. 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 With us, mommy. God. Don't leave us. Mommy. Come with us. Hey there. Are you the owner? No. My name is Johannes. Oh, Johan. Friends call me Joe. Go on right in and take a look around. This is a special place. But don't forget, you buy the house, you buy me too. Because I'll be here. I'm always here. <laughs> Great. 